Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Vlogmas Day 4. And today we're going to be baking some chocolate chip cookies. See, we're going to make cookies. We're going to be making chocolate chip cookies. So what you need is, so you're going to need half a cup of, why was I going to say sugar? You're going to need half a cup of butter half a cup of chocolate chips, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and make sure it says for baking because you know there's baking soda that you use for other stuff to like clean or whatever. But this one of course says for baking. You're gonna be needing half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm using the Mexican vanilla one, but you can use whatever. Also, my butter does have salt, so I'm not going to be adding any salt to my cookies. And I'm only making a small batch, so I'm only using um, one cup of flour. You're going to be needing half a cup, I don't know, one fourth cup of uh, granulated sugar. And then you'll also be using the one fourth cup of brown sugar. And then we're also going to be using um, a tablespoon of, of milk. So let's get to it. So first you're going to... Make sure you add this. Make sure your butter is to room temperature because it will be easier to... You know, to whisk. And if you're going to be using a hand whisk, make sure you have a lot of elbow grease in there because I do have a hand mixer, but I have no idea where it's at. So you're just going to do this until your butter is smooth. So we'll be right back. So by now you're just to look something like this, a little fluffy, you know, more smoothed out. Now you're just going to be adding the sugar. Sugar, you're going to add your one fourth cup sugar and also your brown sugar. Good job. Okay, so once you have combined all of your sugars, you're going to add your vanilla and your milk. And then mix again. Now, what is this? Okay, now you're just going to add your flour. Okay. Good job. You're gonna add the one half teaspoon. Teaspoon? Mm -hmm. And then mix well. I don't do that. You're gonna mix it all until combined. Okay, so once it looks combined, you're just going to add your chocolate chips. Okay. 
Okay, so you're pretty much done once you're done. Ah! You're much you're pretty much done once your dough looks like this. You're gonna set it aside and preheat the oven. So once you have your cookies ready, you're just gonna get your pan ready and put parchment paper down. If you don't have parchment paper, that is okay. You can put some oil on the on the on the pan and get a napkin and just spread it out. So now I'm gonna put this. So I'm gonna be using a tablespoon to make the cookies. And you guys don't have to do this, but I want them to be as even as possible. So you're just gonna do that. Scoop it out. Scoop it out of the thing. And then just. And then just go like this. Place them. Okay, so I'm done rolling out the dough. So I have here about three, six, nine, twelve. I have twelve on this plate. So you know, I just want to be cautious and make sure that they're not gonna be touching when I put them in the oven. So you're just gonna let your cookies cool down for a little bit. Tupperware that I got from the dollar store. It's a sense to keep, and it's actually pretty big compared to my hand. See, okay, I'm gonna save these for later, and I'm gonna get people's reactions. But when they come home, I was gonna try one of the cookies. Oh, more than enough. Is that good or not? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna try my cookies. Mm, We're gonna try the cookies. Mmm, they're good. Okay, guys, I'm gonna get my dad his, the cookie and see his reaction. It's good. Qué rica. También está bueno. He says they're delicious. Uh 
Bye.